this is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden. We're going to learn how to tell time. We're going to learn all about clocks today. We're going to learn the parts of a clock, what the two types of clocks are, and how to tell time to the hour. And then afterwards, I have a fun review game. And I'm going to need your help telling what time it is. Let's talk about the parts of a clock. Do you notice something that goes all the way around the clock? Numbers! There are 12 big numbers on a clock. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These represent the hour. There are also little tiny numbers that go around the clock. And little bitty dots. Those represent the minutes. There are 60 minutes in one hour. So there are 60 little dots that represent minutes that go all the way around and back to the top. There's also two hands. We call these hands. There's one long hand and one short hand. They have special names. The short hand is called the hour hand. Can you say that with me? Hour hand. The long hand it goes all the way to the top and it's longer than the other. That one is called the minute hand. Can you say that with me? Minute hand. Both of these hands, the hour and the minute hand, go around the clock like this. They move around the clock telling what time it is. And when the minute hand gets all the way back to the top, it's a new hour. Did you notice? At first, the hour hand was at the two. But when we went all the way around, it changed to the three. There are two types of clocks. This round one is called an analog clock. Can you say that with me? Analog clock. There's also another type of clock that only shows the numbers. Those types of clocks are called digital clock. Can you say that one with me? Digital clock. We're going to practice reading with both of them today. Let's make five o'clock. Tick tock around the clock, tick tock around the clock. Now the time is five o'clock. Okay, I'm going to show you how to write it on both the analog and the digital clock. Do you remember? What the hour hand was pointing to? The five! And the hour hand is shorter, so I need a short line pointing to the five. We want it exactly five o'clock. So the long hand, the minute hand, goes straight to the top, pointing at the 12. For the digital clock, the hour hand always goes on the left. So we write a five. Five on the left. And even though the minute hand is pointing to the top, we don't write 60. We write zero, zero. shows that it's exactly five o'clock on both of our clocks. Okay, let's see 
what we can find this time. Tick tock around the clock, tick tock around the clock. Now the time is seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. The hour hand points to the seven. So let's make a short hand pointing to the seven. We want it to be exactly seven o'clock. So the minute hand points to the top. Now for our digital one, the hour goes first, seven, and we write zero, zero. Seven o'clock. Let's do it one more time. Tick tock around the clock. Tick tock around the clock. Now the time is 10 o'clock. The hour hand points to the 10. And the minute hand points to the 12. Now for the digital. 10 goes on the left for the hour, and zero, zero goes on the right. 10 o'clock. Right now, it's the season of winter for us. And where I live, it's so cold out. And I've been wearing my mittens and my hat a lot so I can stay nice and warm. And that gave me an idea for a game. We're going to play a mitten matchup game. We're going to match the analog with the digital clock. To make it extra challenging for you, I mixed up all the colors. So look closely at the time, not the color of the mittens. Okay, you got your thinking caps on? Let's start with this one. Hmm. Do you know what time this says? Eight o'clock. So we need to find the matching analog clock that says eight o'clock. Hmm. Nope, that one's not pointing at the eight. We need the hour hand to point at the eight. Nope, not that one. Not that one. <gasps> this one has the hour hand pointing to the eight. That says eight o'clock. It matches. All right, I'm gonna drop it in. There we go. Okay, let's get the next one. Do you know what number this is on the left? 11. So this says 11 o'clock. Hmm, we need the hour hand pointing to the 11. <gasps> there it is. That one matches. We found a match. We found a match. We found an 11 o'clock match. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what this one says. Four o'clock. Let's look for four o'clock. Oh, there it is. We found a match. We found a match. We found a four o'clock match. Okay, one left. Wonder what this mitten says. Hmm, do you know what time this one says? Two o'clock. Okay, let's find our match. Nope, that says four o'clock. 11 o'clock. <gasps> Two o'clock, we found it. We found a match. We found a match. We found a two o'clock match. I hope you enjoyed learning how to tell time and learning all about clocks with me. Let's finish with a word of prayer. Get your prayer hands ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your prayer hands. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can have fun learning. 
May we glorify you in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and let your light shine for Jesus.